Good morning guys. I have a mess of a house, but I wanted to share the realness of like, you guys have all been there, sick, home alone with the kids, and just like trying to tackle it all. It's like, it's real life. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So today is, I need to sit down. Today is the first day that I have felt like, um, like I'm coming, not even like, I can't even vlog, can't even hold the camera up. Today's the first day I felt like I'm coming back to normal a little bit, like I'm feeling a little bit more like myself, and I have energy a little bit more. Um, you know when you like start to, sorry, I'm gonna put you guys in my candle. Whoa. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. Um, I put you guys in my candle holder on my table. Um, you know when you're like coming out of being really sick and like, you're just, you're ready to feel normal again. <laughs> like that's what I feel like. So today, um, I woke up and um, like I'm still feeling like a little, I'm still feeling a little slow. Like mentally I'm very tired. My eyes are kind of glossed over. Like these, I think that's from like the fever. Um, my cheeks are super red too from having a fever, so. But, um, yeah, so I'm just like slowly stepping back into like my normal pace, pushing myself, because I don't feel like laying around is like the best for me. So today my goal is to record the stay in the life for you guys. Um, I need to finish recording my um, cleaning video for you, which is gonna go up on Friday, but I think I'm going to finish the clean cleaning tomorrow. I might start a little bit today and then do a little bit tomorrow. So give myself like a good two days to get that filming done for you guys. Um, I've got a couple of really fun recipes that are going to be featured in that video, so I'm antsy to get it up. But like I said, I'm also antsy. I just wanna get back into my normal routine. So I tried going on a walk this morning, and it was a lot slower than usual, but I did it. Um, I'm on like day five. Let's see, today's Wednesday. I got sick. I had like, um, I call it the Zoolander cough, because it's like, <laughs> come on guys, if you have seen that, movie leave it in comments below but i like the zoolander cough and i was like <laughs> on friday i was like oh i think i'm getting corona like kind of joking but not joking because my cat it so I, I knew it was coming for me um anyways by saturday and sunday it felt like i got hit by a by a freight train it was it was pretty intense but um I talked about this a little bit over on my Instagram. It was not what I was expecting at all. Um, I got my results and found out I had COVID. Like I already knew I had COVID because by that time I had like lost all sense of smell and taste and I felt like <laughs> donkey butt. So anyway, um, the, the symptoms, I, like I said, I shared this over my Instagram. I cannot stay on track. I can't stay focused. Um, shared it on Instagram, like that chart. Have you guys seen that like comparison chart? You know what I'm talking about where it's like COVID and the flu and cold and allergies. And it's, it, I think it's like the worst comparison chart ever. I was using it before. I'm like, oh, this is such a good tool to have. Um, no, it's not because like my COVID symptoms and my COVID symptoms were identical. So like the exact same thing, but um, we did not have a dry cough. Um, the cough we had was actually phlegmy, even though it was like, I just like TMI is so gross, but it's the truth. Um, did not have a dry cough. I did not have a sore throat. So I would say like my, me and Mike's biggest symptoms have been the congestion and the headache and the fever and the body aches and chills. My ears kind of hurt because I got so congested. Um, but yeah, it's just been like, for me, it's been a lot of like head. It felt like a really bad head cold, like worse than a cold. I can't even compare it to a cold. Um, but the congestion was in my head. That's how COVID affected me. Um, anyways, I need to check my temp. I need to check my temp. It's been like days. 99.3, so it, it is coming down, even though I still have like the cold sweats and the chills in 99.5. So it's coming down slowly but surely. Um, I've kind of been at like that 100, 99.5 to 100 for the past day. Um, so it's been like super low grade, um, like temperature. So 
Anyway, there's my COVID update for you. Yes, I had COVID. I guess that's the first time I'm announcing that to you guys here. I'm so used to like talking to Instagram. Um, yes, I had COVID. Um, yep. Yes, I'm healing. I think Kai is knocking on the door upstairs. I'm healing, it's just, it takes a long time to heal from it. Um, and people are like, oh, it looks like you're getting better. And it's like, because obviously I'm not like laying down or I'm not in the hospital bed. Um, but this is taking like days and days and days, like I'm on day five, like I said, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm on day six today, technically on day six. And this is the first day I have felt like almost human again. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Also, um, link down below for you guys. I'm going to show you. Now that I got all the COVID stuff off my chest, and you guys know that, yes, I had COVID. I know you guys are going to ask about the kids as well, and we're going to do presumptive cases for them because they've had just like a really tiny dry cough. It did not affect the kids in the same way it affected Mike and I. Um, they did have low grade temps, like 99.5, um, but really that was all the kids got, and they have been crazy as ever. So they handled it really well um, from as far as we can tell, but um, we are doing presumptive cases for them at this time because both Mike and I had it, and they are showing symptoms. Even if it's just slightly, they are still showing symptoms. So anyway, okay, so on to the next thing I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so now that I am very nicely featuring the pile of dishes in the background and the mess on my counter, enjoy that, it's nice. Um, I, okay, so remember that little project I told you guys I was working on like a month or two ago and I said it'd be out in October, November. Um, so it finally came out and um, I'm going to show you guys. So I was actually featured in a local magazine. It was super cute, just like something small. It was um, an interview that they did. Oh my gosh, look at these cute puppies. <laughs> Locally, I feel like this isn't, like YouTube maybe isn't a big thing um, because a lot of times when I bring up that I do YouTube for a living, people are like really weirded out. Um, it's actually like one of my most favorite things to do is to, like freak people out and tell them what I do for a living. So like. Anyway, it's just because I love my job so much. I like to talk about it, but I like to see like the look on people's faces when I tell them what I do. Um, especially if like they have no idea what YouTube is and like they don't watch YouTube except for like how-to videos. Um, it's like that's like my, my most favorite thing to do, <laughs> freak people out. Um, anyway, this was a really cool story because the lady who interviewed me I don't feel like really had and any idea about it either and she was so sweet um anyway so here's my feature i've got i'm just like here i am i was the mod mom feature for september for no october and november everything is very hard right now for my brain um but so i it's just like this like two page feature i look like i should be spinning a basketball on my finger right here um, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just a really cute article and they asked me all the questions um, and like asked me how much money I make um, on YouTube, which I kind of shared. Um, if you guys want to read the article, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. So anyways, if you guys want to know how much money there is to be made on YouTube, um, go and check out this article. And if you're interested in a YouTube series eventually, I would be happy to share that. I have mentioned in the past, um, just because I'm so passionate about it. And um, I've done so much research, so much SEO research. I'm constantly experimenting with my channel. Um, I'm just really passionate like about everything that I do and my community that I've created for you guys and for myself here on my channel and over on Instagram. I literally have the most amazing followers. I'm just, I'm gonna cry. You guys are so supportive and you've been so sweet to me like through this whole COVID thing. So anyways, <laughs> if you guys wanna go check out this article, it'll be linked down below for you. And how cute. So I think Mike looks like a, he looks a little bit like Archie Andrews to me in this picture. <laughs> He's got like the flow going on. I've been watching Riverdale a lot lately, so maybe that's why I think it, but anyway, okay. Big things happening 
in my life right now. I'm trying to feel better so that I can enjoy the big things that are happening. I have a collaboration video that I am creating. Um, actually, that one is going up on Friday, I think. Think. It's with a local mom blog um, to my area and I absolutely like love collaborating with all of the mamas, especially local mamas. Um, it's just, it's so much fun and like building a community, like I said, that's my favorite thing about what I do. So anyway, I'm so sorry, I have like no energy, but something else I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I have all the things, this is gonna be the longest vlog ever. You're welcome. Um, I finally got, um, a new lens for my camera. So I have my Canon 80D. This is my big, really nice camera. Um, she's very expensive and I never use her um, because she like intimidates me. So um, I just have been using like the standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens that like came on the camera. Um, and she broke in. I broke this so bad. Um, on my birthday, actually, I broke this stupid lens. I was trying to take a picture, a birthday picture, by myself. It was too big for the tripod. And I had it, like, instead of, like, horizontal, I had it, like, vertical, because I was taking it in an Instagram picture. And my hubs, was, my husband wasn't home, so he couldn't take it for me. So, anyways, I broke that lens, and then I finally picked up... Um, I wanted something that was going to be good for filming, but also for photography. Um, and I did a lot of research and finally picked up um, a 50 millimeter um, lens. So I got a good old nifty 50 for my camera. And I think it looks so funny on my camera. It's just this like little like squatty lens. But the quality is amazing and I'm super excited to like share I'm super excited to share like the videos because the video, my video quality just got like 10 times better for my cleaning videos. So I plan on using those or that lens for my cleaning videos and for my decorating videos. Um, and then I need like one more like wide angle lens and thinking something a little bit less than a 50 millimeter. Um, this, that one's really good. Like I said, for like cleaning videos, but like if I want to get like a big wide angle shot, that's not the best for it, but anyway, we are filming, not we, I'm still quarantined, but Mike is actually technically out of quarantine, so he's back to work. Um, so Mike is filming um, a wedding this weekend that I was supposed to film. So he's gonna be filming with this bad boy, and then I also picked up a new microphone, so my audio quality will be so much better for you guys when I do my voiceovers. All right, I'm gonna go and watch some Riverdale and just like chill for a little bit. I'm gonna go and chill for a little bit, watch some Riverdale and like rest. And then when that microphone comes in, I want to do like a comparison at the end of this video for like quality, so. Also, my girl Taylor Terrell just um, rebooted her um, YouTube channel, which you guys know that she is one of my very close friends here on YouTube and over on Instagram. The internet is an amazing place and I love all the people that I've met. But especially Taylor, she's like, oh, I love her. She's like my soul sister. She just rebooted her channel, so I'll leave her um, channel link down below in the description box for you guys. Also, I really need to get my vlog up from when she was here because I'm slacking. Maybe that's what I'll do later on this afternoon is get that up so you guys have two vlogs coming this week, so. I better include this on the vlog before I forget. Um, I mentioned that I went on a walk earlier and I put it on my Instagram and I got like a dozen DMs instantly and people were like, how are you going on a walk when you're in quarantine? And I'm like, I should have done a better job of explaining. Um, I live on the edge of town, so there's like all country like roads like right next to like where I live so I was very smart I was very like conscious I was very aware of like where I was going on a walk um, and I stayed far away from people so anyways that's why I went on a walk is because I live on the edge of town and the wide open country so anyway you should not be laughing but when he just squeaks when he gets upset um, he is Kaya playing a slime. That looks so gross. Ew. 
Okay, so anyway, um, so Riker just woke up from his nap, had some lunch, and um, I let him have a little tiny bit of a cookie brownie with chocolate frosting, so now he's covered in chocolate. But the babies need treats when they're not feeling good, huh? Are you feeling okay enough to go run around now? Hmm? You wanna go run around? Yay! What is that? Is that a magazine? Yeah. Is that a magazine? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. You're so cute. Yeah. What's that? That? Okay guys, I am going to wrap up the vlog there for today. I'm still struggling with my fever. Um, and it's just, it's kind of just making me mentally just kind of like blah. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna order some pizza for dinner tonight and I'm gonna go watch some Riverdale. <laughs> I also wanted to mention to you guys in this video, I'm gonna give you guys one last chance to enter the giveaway that I have going on right now for a one, two, three grin oral care set. I will leave the link up here for you guys and also in the description box down below to that video. All you need to do is go over and comment on that video to be entered into the giveaway. I'm going to hop over on Instagram and tell you guys the same thing over there. So, I will leave that open through this Sunday and a winner will be announced next week sometime. Okay, it sounds good. I will see you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for a fall motivational cleaning video. Okay, bye guys.